the whole reason to replace your stock track bar after lifting your vehicle is I guess I'm gonna see if this works I'm gonna try to illustrate it so this side right here is connected to your frame the ball joint is connected to your axle when you lift the frame side of your truck you're pulling your axle to the driver side and when you lower I'm trying to keep it in plane here it pushes the axle that is connected to that ball joint to the passenger side well so I've lifted my truck a little well, I've leveled my truck but it's still I pulled my axle to the driver's side so to compensate you get an adjustable track bar My flavor of track bar I went with is a Synergy. Um, it kept rubber bushing on this side and a ball joint on this side. Times are good, but they're more for race applications if you ask me. So I wanted something that was beefy and still kept rubber bushings and normal ball joints. So I went with Synergy. Let's get this thing on the truck. <laughs> That's our impact setup to get to our main track bar. That's super easy to move around. <clears throat> this is going to fall a little bit. Closest thing to me was, ow, god dang. I didn't need no skin on my elbows anyways. Uh, adjustable sledgehammer. So hopefully this will work. get a pickle fork. I need a bigger adjustable sledgehammer. Fixed sledgehammer. I prefer adjustables but this will work.
That's why I left that note on there. <laughs> okay. Not too bad. I mean, it's wobbly, but it's not horrible. eBay. Never been used. <laughs> or your sunglasses that are dragging the concrete. I hear an important part rolling away. Nope, just a socket. Not important. Where's that big ass bolt? There it is. Holy cow. Good level concrete is a must. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> so this dude goes in the bend towards the front. And I don't want to scratch it because it looks so pretty. I'm going to set this up here temporarily. And try to push this in. Oh the cow, she's tight. Tight squeeze. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's scratched now, so it doesn't matter. Might as well just throw it on the ground. I ain't working, I ain't used to working with tools this large. Okay, before you put the ball joint in, so this adjuster sleeve adjusts out, and then if you twist this way, the ball joint will adjust out the opposite way. They're threaded different directions. Tighten your ball joint all the way into the adjuster sleeve, tighten the adjuster sleeve the opposite direction all the way into the track bar. That way you have equal amount of thread engagement on ball joint and adjuster sleeve into the actual track bar, if you understand that. Oh, whoa, found a happy spot. Okay, wiggle it left and right, it'll go up in. There you go. Needed some wiggling. When in doubt, jiggle it out. Or in. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know which way did this go. I went in this way. Easy peasy. Oh my god. Well, that's not fucking good. Pop the ball joint, rubber bushing off. Where the trying to move the damn ball joint over.
I'm adjusting the track bar longer so I can line up the ball joint with the hole. There we go. Okay. So the ball joint boot coming off earlier was probably my fault because I pre-greased the ball joint prior to putting it on and all that grease in there just kind of popped that rubber boot off but I tried to make sure I didn't get any dirt in there when putting the ball joint uh, sleeve or boot or whatever the hell it's called back on so I think we're fixed now And it said this needed to be torqued down to 160 foot pounds. The ball joint side, 160 on ball joint and 400 up there, which, uh, yeah. 160 is enough to give you a What is it called? Brain aneurysm? No brain aneurysm, whenever you shoot a muscle out. <laughs> a hernia? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 400. I think the old Milwaukee is gonna do that part. <laughs> Cause that's all I got right there. Okay, and then they said if the quarter pin doesn't line up, you just tighten a little bit more. So I'm just going to go a hair more. Who knows, this is a good old power torque, torque wrench. <laughs> Right there.
What do I have that's stronger than my Okay, got our pins installed. Yes. No, four hundred foot pounds. Which I wonder if this will move anymore. Oh, it does. Where's the easiest? Not that way. It is literally the easiest. Right. Right in there. So, this adjuster sleeve being easy to wiggle. Right there. Let's see, I can turn it with my fingers right here. There's no way I'm pushing the body around on the truck. So, that's probably really close to centered right here because my track bar my track bar was pulling my um pulling my axle to the driver's side because i was lifted when i dropped when i pulled the old track bar off the truck realigned itself and my steering wheel actually corrected itself as well so hopefully that is it's happy place and then we'll we'll you know confirm it by measuring outside wheel to the frame here and and making sure that both of those measurements are the same on both sides of the truck but I'm assuming that that was where it wanted to be because the coils were cornered like this and whenever I dropped took the old track bar off they readjusted themselves and that's why I was trying to get this to go in as easy as possible because that was probably center over top of the the axle was probably center underneath the truck so we're gonna confirm it now time for that Probably tight enough. I'm surprised the old power torque extension was able to handle that. <laughs> You think that was 400 foot pounds? Mm. No. I don't know. I'm not completely sure either. I know it's tight though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this for a test drive. I don't have the adjuster sleeve. It's got a pinch bolt or a lock nut that makes it where it won't rotate. Uh, I just have it kind of tightened up. I don't have it actually pinching the adjuster nut. I'm just gonna get it, take it for a test drive down the road real, uh, real quick to let everything settle prior to making my final adjustments on the track bar length. Okay, to get my measurement, um, I'm going to measure you need the frame to measure off of. People, some people use straight edge and their actual hub, or their sorry, the brake caliper and the straight edge, and use it off the body. But I'm going to use the frame 
to the outside of the wheel and it's close to the top of the axle I can get and the top of the wheel as I can get because you know if you're a little bit off of steering you can make something shorter or longer right the top this is the center part so roughly in here will be the very dead center of the wheel so I am at to my outside lug 22 inches and an eighth or so I'll go out here yeah about about 22 inches and yeah maybe three sixteenths to an eighth kind of in the center of that somewhere uh, these lugs are offset but 22 inches and roughly in the center to three sixteenths and an eighth yeah so we're gonna 22 three sixteenths and an eighth go the other same spot right above the wheel we're at way off 22 like 22 and a half over here so I need to shorten the track bar so I need to shorten it which I'm able to turn it by my hand. Right, let's see what that did. Okay, so that's the inset lug. Here, 22 and a quarter. Right at 22 and a quarter. We're calling that picking. Yeah, I'll we'll measure off of this one. I mean, 22 and a quarter. That's the inset lug. See, it's got the, the cutout. Mm -hmm. 22 and a quarter, and that I'm measuring off of, I'm putting the tape measure literally right underneath this cool here, the outside. Here to here. 22 and a quarter. And then, so inset the cut in lug underneath this back side up there to the cut in lug. It may be a, a 30 second off. It's like 22 and a quarter. Center down. I gotta figure out what it is. Nineteen millimeter. We're gonna tighten her down. Tight enough. Not going nowhere. Oh yeah, I tightened it all the way down. Okay. Sweet.
Okay, we're on the uh, our first drive. We went Sonic got us some drinks, but um, one thing that we did that we did notice after we put the track bar on, which I wasn't expecting it to do, was this truck has 37s. It used to really rub, but I'm gonna here we're turning. I'm gonna try to lock it out, make an extra sharp turn, and I, I was able to just barely touch my the rear the rear of my fender on the driver's side just then and I just locked it out just about it prior to doing the uh, the track bar that would have been like wow and like it would it would you could definitely tell it was rubbing hard and people look at you driving around in a parking lot but um that was just that's just something that we didn't know that it was going to correct and it has but it's pretty cool but uh uh, we we've already been on the highway and driving and other than it's shimmying a little bit from my uneven tire wear uh, the truck literally drives like it did whenever I bought it 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 feels so much better now and uh, I'd recommend getting an adjustable track bar if you don't know which one to get synergy uh, synergy makes a pretty good one so appreciate you watching and uh, we'll see you next time